Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Sunday. We got six matchups on this NBA slate today. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And let's hop into it. Got some pretty good action today to close out the weekend. Six matchups. Starting with the Charlotte Hornets versus the Brooklyn Nets. Nets opening up as eight and a half point favorites with the over-under at 231 and a half. Uh, you can get the Nets on the money line at minus 380. The Hornets plus 290. The last 10 head-to-head -head Brooklyn, 6-4. and four. Charlotte, you know, they have struggled against Brooklyn here. Just 2-5 and five in their last 7 against Brooklyn. And then 2-5 and five covering the spread in those 5 games. Brooklyn 9-1 and one covering at home. 7-3 and three covering at home against Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte, I mean, Charlotte's looked really good to start the season. Got a couple wins. Um, I just like the Nets in this matchup. Uh, I think, you know, eight and a half points does seem a little high, but um, I do lean with the Nets here. So I'm going to roll with Brooklyn. Next matchup, we have the Boston Celtics versus the Houston Rockets. Celtics opening up as six point favorites with the over under at 225 and a half. Um,. The last 10 head-to-head -head for Houston. They are 6-4 and four in their last 10. Boston, they have struggled against Houston here. Just 2-8 and eight in their last 10 on the road against Houston. 0-5 oh on the road. 1-6 in their last 7. Um, a small spread here. Celtics have been struggling. 0-2 oh to start the season. Rough start for Brooklyn. I'm sorry for Boston coming off that. Very bad Toronto loss. Uh, Houston coming off a really good win over OKC, but uh, I think it's a good bounce back spot for the Celtics here against this Rockets team. I like Boston minus six, and we'll take them on the money line. The next matchup, we have the Orlando Magic versus the New York Knicks. Knicks opening up as 12-point favorites with the over-under at 215. You can get the Knicks on the money line at minus 800. The Magic plus 575. Both teams 5-5 five and five in their last 10 head-to-head -head against each other. Uh, these teams did just play the Knicks, winning 121-96, to kind of dominating that Orlando squad. Uh, Magic currently on a nine-game losing streak, 0-6 oh, on the road. 12 points is a lot here, but it's really hard to trust this Magic team. The Knicks already beat them by more than 12 in their last game. Um, give me the Knicks in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Sixers opening up as 8.5 point favorites with the over-under at 216.5. The last 10 head-to-head, -head, uh, OKC 6-4. Um, Philly coming off that 114 to 109 loss against the Nets. And then OKC, you know, getting dominated 124 to 91 against uh, Houston. Um, OKC 1 and 11 at home. I like the Sixers in this spot coming off a loss to the Nets here. Uh, OKC coming off that horrible loss against the Rockets here. Going to be a tough matchup for this young uh, Thunder team here. Give me the 76ers minus 8.5. And, and we'll take them on the money line. Next matchup, we have the Golden State Warriors versus the Sacramento Kings. Warriors opening up as 3.5 point favorites with the over-under at 232.5. You can get the Warriors on the money line at minus 160. The Kings plus 145. Warriors open. Oh, Six and four in their last ten head to head. Coming off that two point Clippers win, and then Sacramento coming off that nine point uh, Jazz loss. Golden State eight and two in their last ten. Um, Sacramento one and four in their last five here. I like the Warriors in this matchup. They've uh, been looking pretty good. Two and zero, oh, really good start to the season for Golden State here. Pretty small spread at minus three and a half. Gonna roll with the hotter team in the Warriors. Then the last matchup, we have the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers opening up as six point favorites with the over under at 221. You can get the Lakers on the money line at minus 250. 
The Grizzlies plus 210. Lakers 7 and 3 in their last 10 head to head. Memphis coming off that 6 point win over the Clippers. Lakers coming off, you know, back to back losses to Phoenix and Golden State. Um, yeah, Memphis 2 and 0 to start the season, playing really good. Lakers, man. Not looking good to start the season. Two bad losses, uh, you know, against good teams. Um, I would say it's a good spot for the Lakers to get a nice win here, but Grizzlies have been playing really good. Hard to disrespect them, you know, and give them six points here to the struggling Lakers team. Um, I think I want to take Grizzlies plus the points. Lakers haven't shown anybody in the world they could cover a spread right now because they haven't been able to lost back-to-back games memphis coming off a nice clippers win i think they're gonna bring that momentum into this lakers game here give me memphis plus the points in this matchup that's gonna be it for the video good luck with your picks and parlays on sunday and i'll see you guys monday have a good one